Well, the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta, they are breaking barriers today. After 100 years, they just named their first ever black CEO. Atlanta News first reporter Abby Kasura shares how, shares how representation at the top is giving young women someone they can look up to. A study from consulting company McKinsey found women represent one in four corporate senior leaders, but women of color represent just one in 16. Jai Farrell is a proud Spelman grad and the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta's first ever black CEO. Representation matters and what better way does it feel to be a mentor and then to be the person who you would have wanted someone to be when you were small. Grady born, Decatur raised, she remembers her Girl Scout leader, her mother, and the life skills that she says she still uses today. She wants to advance the Girl Scout vision to include the girl of the future. Oh, I didn't grow up with social media. I actually had the Facebook when I was leaving college, these rounds of Spellman. So I think these ideas of so many different messages and things that are coming at our girls, them understanding and being proud of who they are and not comparing themselves to the next person is so easy. These are some of my badges and you earn them by doing the different excursions like um, like different, going different places in Atlanta and doing different camping things like making a fire. Badges aren't like you remembered. After more than 100 years, the badges have changed. Automotive design, basics of coding and entrepreneurship. Jada Easton says her badge for makeup design inspired her dream to become a makeup artist. Sharing videos like this one online. This hit a million likes actually, and it says, it's inspiring. It says, do not give up and here it just has some of my older work from when I was 11 and I wasn't really good. And then it has my current work. Mentors like Farrell giving her the confidence even at a young age. I see myself in her and it lets me know that I can get to great heights as well. Farrell says while it took 100 years, it could have been 200. She's just glad that the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta made the choice now. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Kasoris.